the stupidness. Like literally, when a black face turns up to their yard, their man they get a bit too relaxed than that. And you know, sometimes it's easy to get relaxed in that. But I noticed that like literally the black man then they 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 start acting up when man when man go to their yard, didn't it? So like I don't know if you lot have seen the video that I made where I was talking about working in social housing and that. And I was talking about all the mad tenants that man come across and that. And you know what? Let me tell this story before I tell you lot the next story, innit? Yeah. So boom. Imagine, yeah, I had this tenant's house to go to, innit? And let's just call him John. For some reason, I couldn't get into this property, innit? So they had to arrange it with the housing officer. So usually when that happens, the tenant's not right in his head, innit? So boom. I've gone and knocked at this door a couple of times, put a note through the door a couple of times, innit? We've got the, these cards, missed appointment cards, innit? Still no response from him and that. So anyway, the housing officer had to go and book the appointment. So when I knocked on the door, I'm hearing some shouting going on in the inside. But it didn't seem like anything was going on, like any madness was going on. I was just, well, it's going to be lively in this small flat. So anyway, boom, the housing officers come to the door and uh, I said, oh, yeah, okay, great, you're here. And, uh, so she's there with the tenant who's a bit of a problem. But a problem in a sense, or not trouble, like dangerous, but it just... A madman in it all over the place. Might have some anxiety issues and stuff. Here. So boom. So this is a white guy, isn't it? So I said to him, yeah, where's the fuse box? You know, the electric box we used to turn off the power. And I said, boom, where's, where's the fuse box? Where's the electric box? He's like, it's in that cupboard there, isn't it? But I can't let you in there. I said, my friend, listen, yeah? I need you to let me in that cupboard or else I can't do the test. If you've got a bedroom that's out of bounds, that's all right. I need to be able to work and test this electric box. He says, oh, I don't want to let you in there. And uh, Let me tell you something, yeah. I'm in this guy's hallway. And I'm thinking, why does this guy not want to let me in this cupboard? It's just a little cupboard. A little cupboard. Yeah, you, you literally can touch both walls, yeah. Anyway, the house owner said, John, let him in the flipping yard. Uh, in the cupboard, didn't it? Boom. So he had this big, massive, you know, them massive remote control car things, and he? he had one of them. So I was like, yeah, you're going to need to remove that remote control car because this thing was dirty. I didn't want to touch it with my hands and that. So boom. Man, I have to reenact this part, innit? Yeah. So boom. My man's like this, yeah. And he's like, ah, oh, I really don't want to let you in this room and that, in this cupboard, yeah. So my man's done this, yeah. So I've had to step out of the way, innit, yeah? So man's had to step to the side, innit, yeah? And I said, ah, oh, I really don't want to let you in this cupboard, innit? My man's bust the door open and revealed what's inside. You know, for about five to ten seconds, I just paused. I froze. I could I was in disbelief. I'm like, this guy is not serious. Nah. There must be a handy, handy cam around. Like, nah, this is a joke, innit? Where's the camera crew going to come out? And I've been pranked. Yeah, you know, like, them programs there, and they prank the tradesmen and that. I'm like, nah, this guy can't be serious, innit? There's a housing officer here, and this guy has got all the equipment to grow weed in the yard, in the flat, knowing that the housing officer's there. Now, there was no weed, there was no skunk, nothing like that. But the fact that this guy's got this in this yard, Knowing that the housing officer knows he's gonna see it. And I was like, nah, this guy is not serious. Literally, my man busts the door open and I'm standing there. Remember, it's a it's a tight hallway. So the housing officer is standing on the other side of the door. She can't see in this cupboard, in it. Yeah, so you know, she's grabbed the door, like, like, what's going on? Like to see in there. She's like, oh my god, John, you still got that in the cupboard? I'm like, bro. I said, a man just don't give up. Only white man can get away with anything. I tell you, if that was a black man, he would have been in handcuffs a long time ago. Only white man can get away with having the equipment to grow in the yard with a housing officer. Only a white man can get away with that. So anyway, boom, the housing officer, after 10, 20 minutes, she's left. And uh, this is a grown-ass man. He's like 50 years old, but his mum needs to be there. He's, got, he's a 50-year-old man, but he's got the mind of a 16-year-old. Yeah, boom. So anyway, the housing officer's gone. So I could tell he kind of grew up on the street a little bit. So anyway, I said to him, yeah, the test is done, isn't it? Yeah, and I spudded him. 
He's like, yeah, yeah, I'll show you to the door, innit? Yeah. So boom. The hallway kind of goes like an L shape and that. He's like, hey, hey, shh, shh, shh. Come on, come on. He's like, what, do you want any weed? I'm like, nah, 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 man, I don't smoke, kill it. My man try to offer me weed, you know? I don't know if he give it to you for free or try to shop me some weed or something, innit? But literally, he's like, hey, 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 hey. So we, come on, man. This is the shit man has to deal with, you know, on this job, you know? Madness. All because I come across a certain way, so a man's going to deal with you a certain way. Again, if I was a bald-headed white man, uh, who's 50 years old, my man's not going to be offering man weed. And that. But when you're a certain way, people are going to deal with you a certain way. And that. I've been to Yardy man's yard, black Jamaican Yardy man, and they didn't want to let no electricians into the house and that, because basically there's some big massive sofas in this cupboard where the fuse box is, and it's awkward to get to, you, innit? And I turn up to this flat, this flat block, to go and do the, 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 the test, I don't know who I'm going to see because remember slavery. Um, like obviously my name's Jelani, innit? Yeah, so I've got a, I've got like if you see the name Jelani, you know, okay, that's a man of color and that. But if my name was Michael um Smith, I could be a white man or I could be a black man, yeah, because us Jamaicans, we have white names, yeah. Our surnames are white, yeah. So Obviously, if you see a name like Jelani, you know, okay, that's a man of colour, innit? If you see a name of Michael or Kevin and that, that could be a white man or that could be a black man. So anyway, I see the woman's name, Chantel McGriff, for example. That could, to me, I'm thinking that's a white woman. Lo and behold, it's actually a Jamaican, Yardy woman. I just see these random people coming out of the block and I thought, you know what, let me ask them if they're the tenants. I'm like, excuse me, are you at number one? And they're like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm the electrician, man. You're going out. It's like, ah, oh, but I will do what we need to do later, innit? It'll come true, innit? I go in his tenant yard, innit? And he says to me, you know what? To be fair, I ain't let none of the electricians in to do this test because it's almost impossible for anyone to get to that fuse box because I'm not pulling out this sofa, innit? But you're a young black unit, jump on the thing, innit? I say, yeah, cool, innit? Because I get paid price work. So man's going to do the job. So man had to climb on the sofa and that. A white man would have never have done that. A white man would have been like, nah, I'm not doing it. Health and safety, rare, 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 innit? Yeah, but he's like, nah, you're a black unit. Go on, jump on the thing, innit? That's how black men, they'll, they'll deal with you that way, innit? Like, literally, they, they're a lot more relaxed around you. Um, and a lot more badly behaved as well. 